Dr. Tammy here with 100% Natural Baby. Today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting subject. We've talked before about progesterone, the main hormone of pregnancy and how important that is to balance it, and methylation or clearing toxins and keeping those hormone levels normal is very important. But one of the most important things that you have to understand that is the underlying cause of all disease or disease is that things start in the gut. And you truly are what you eat. Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine. So I'm not talking about if you're eating healthy and you're trying to eat healthy for your baby, you're avoiding folic acid, you're taking folate, you're eating green leafy vegetables, you're doing all the right things. There may still be some things that you're doing that you're not aware of and so that's what I want to shine some light on that dark place today because you might be doing things that you're not aware of just like with progesterone you might be using the wrong kind of progesterone just like with um, methylation issues you might be taking folic acid that might be detrimental you might actually be eating foods that are detrimental to you too and I think of this like diesel fuel and unleaded fuel so what were to happen if you were to put diesel fuel in an unleaded tank be a problem, right? Wouldn't car wouldn't go very far, it'd probably sputter. And the first thing that the mechanic would do is he would tell you that, oh my gosh, you put diesel fuel in an unleaded tank, that doesn't work, and the first thing we have to do is drain that tank. So I want you to keep that principle in mind because there's actually foods that you might be eating right now that might be like putting diesel fuel in an unleaded gas tank. And those could be things that you would never guess. Things like almonds, asparagus, um, and then things like gluten and dairy and things that you might have heard with like food sensitivities. So I wanna kinda summarize how this happens. How you can actually be eating foods that you think are healthy, that are not healthy for you, and how that can trigger abnormal hormone production like cortisol, which inflammation is um, triggered from this inflammatory response, which cortisol is the hormone that calms down the inflammation, and cortisol can dysregulate natural progesterone. So that's the root of dysregulation of your natural hormone progesterone and probably some pregnancy issues or infertility issues that you might be having. So that's how we're gonna tie this in. Well, there's something called leaky gut that I wanna share with you, and you may have heard of this. And you may be wondering, well, what has my gut or my intestines have to do with me getting pregnant? Well, just like I said, if you have problems in the intestinal tract or you have problems with food that's causing inflammation in the intestinal tract, it causes inflammation in the whole system. Cortisol is secreted in response to that, which dysregulates progesterone or progestation. So what happens is in the gut, if you were to look at the intestines, under a microscope, you would see that there is this protective layer. Here's the cross section, like you just slice through an intestine, this cross section of protective layer and these little adhesion molecules that hold this together. And then also you would see that there are bacteria that normally line this intestinal lining that break down your nutrients and your food for you um, into the vitamins. And then down here is the bloodstream. And so only the nutrients are supposed to get into the bloodstream. But what happens is in leaky gut, this gets disrupted. And literally whole chunks of food now hit the bloodstream and triggers an inflammatory response. So the food sensitivity testing is a blood test of 96 foods that we check for starting with asparagus, apples, all the way down to zucchini, um, with gluten, dairy, and everything else in between. And we check and see if your body triggers inflammation. Now this is an antibody antigen response that when these food proteins hit the bloodstream, it triggers inflammation. And this is a very simple blood test to do. You can do it in the comfort of your own home, but it's very important. There are many foods that are very prone to trigger this inflammatory response. And one of the main foods that we talk about, now you've heard probably a lot of hype about gluten, which is a protein that's found in wheat products, and um, dairy is also very inflammatory. So I recommend that right out of the gate, um, before you get tested, it takes a couple of weeks to run this test, that you start avoiding gluten and dairy because those are very what we call antigenic or trigger foods 
that trigger inflammation in the bloodstream if you have leaky gut, and most people do. And you might say, well, I don't really have digestion issues, or maybe you do, but it doesn't even have to be intestinal irritation that you're experiencing, bloating or gas or diarrhea or anything like that. It is a more insidious effect. This inflammation can cause inflammation in the blood vessels to the uterus or the ovaries. It can cause um, inflammation anywhere in the system, joint pain, it can cause headaches, but mostly it causes inflammation in all the tissues that triggers a cortisol response that dysregulates your progesterone, which is very important to pregnancy. So understanding leaky gut is the key to fixing some of these problems, and so that is a simple blood test we can do. And our detoxification process is basically three weeks of avoiding gluten and dairy or whatever sensitivities that you have. And then we use some very specific supplements that help heal the intestinal tract so that you don't have leaky gut anymore, and it's not that you can't ever eat those foods again. It's just during this healing process that's very important. So leaky gut, the root, eating healthy is important, but even eating healthy, there are some things that you need to know about trigger or inflammation foods that can really change the whole milieu of your hormonal balance. So very, very important to getting pregnant. Hope this was helpful, and um, we'll see you in upcoming videos.